Hey guys, welcome to your video. This time we're taking on TOA Hill stages 1 and 2 of the month of September of 2021, guys. And for the first team, I decided to go free to play. But guys, if you have Ganymede, then replace Bigger for a Gany, and then the enemies will never be able to move because of the combination of Tyrone, the Dark Homunculus, and Ganymede. You know, guys, we already used this on a ton of different comps, on a ton of different videos. And yeah, you know, those three together will never allow the enemy to take a turn. So guys, for this one, here are the runes and I will show you each phase, but there's not much to explain actually. During the first wave, you should try to prevent the wing paladins from moving, but you can't increase their cooldowns and their wind element, so it may be quite difficult. So you should bypass that with the strips of Bellation and the strips of the Dark Homunculus, so that you can remove the will when the dark, when the wind paladins have used their third skill. And apart from that guys, there's not much to explain and even though they were to use their skill and they were to attack you, those enemies don't deal much damage, so you should not worry about it. You have two healers, so there's not any issues here at all. Of course, with Ganymede you will be actually pushing them back from turn 1 and then you may actually be able to control all of the enemies whenever you want actually and as easy as you want and you may be able to snipe the wind units sooner and you know guys, you may get rid of them much 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 more easily. So guys, I will see you during the second wave. Now, as you can see guys, we use the first skill of our units against the, the final unit of each wave, as I always tell you. And guys, during the second wave, get rid of the boomerang ones of the boomerang warriors, I don't remember their names, but you know the fire units here, because, you know, they are fewer enemies and they are easier to control actually, so you should try to have them either stunned or freezed all the time, so that if the wind units where to attack, and given they are harder to control with Tyrone, they may attack, well, when they do, they don't take the fire ones alongside them, so that's it guys, that's it, you get rid of the fire ones, and then this stage is really really easy, because they don't have enough damage to actually kill you, and of course you have two healers, and you have defense rakes, and you have anti-crit, and you have speed buff while slowing the opponent down, so you will be taking a ton of turns before they even take one turn. And of course, guys, remember to use the third skill of Belladion as an attacker push, so that even though you don't have to heal, you can use it in order to gain 30% attack bar, and that way you will cycle turns even faster, given that the opponent is on slow and that you already have speed buffs, so you will be taking million turns, and of course that's in order to actually make better use of the third skill of your Dark Homunculus, so that skill can actually reset the third skill of your ability, and actually it can lower it by two turns, so you only have to wait one more turn after you use the third skill of your Dark Homo, in order to get back the third skill of your ability. And that's how it works guys, and it works like this on a ton of stages. Belladion is a very good unit and you have to keep in mind that Belladion can be your booster and a really huge help for turn cycling.
Now guys, we are in the final wave and here we will try to control every unit if possible with Tyrone. If we are lucky enough, we will be able to freeze the entire enemy team. But what we want to do is actually use the first kill of Spectra and then push back with our Tyrone first. And then we will be using the first kill of Tyrone as well. So guys, you should try to defense rake the, the, the Light Oracle here so that you can start working on her Killing her with the second skill of Spectra so that you can actually deal the most damage in the shorter amount of time. And guys, if you know, here you can't increase their, their cooldowns. So if you were not able to actually control her with your turn cycling, remember to use the first skill of Peladion as an attack bar push. But if you were not able to actually control them, and you did not cycle enough for your Tyrone to actually push her back all the time, then if she uses her third skill, no problem, guys. You can strip that with the second skill of your Veladion. And of course, remember, you have heals. So yeah, the threat here will be the Ciaras. But yeah, as long as you can keep them under control, there should not be many problems. And of course, they will be attack broken. So guys, the best thing I can tell you if you want to use this team is to actually give violent runes to Tyrone. Because one proc from Tyrone means that his cooldowns will be one turn lower and therefore you will be able to control this without many problems. And of course, the odds are that you will actually proc once on every five turns. So that will be very, very helpful. Now we're moving on to TOA Hell Stage 2, guys, and here we will be using Shaman. You know, that unit that actually can kill the bosses, the dark bosses, on two or three attacks. That's amazing. So, yeah, guys, you will be defense breaking the boss, and then you will be using the second skill of Shaman, and then you repeat that. Guys, Take note that my my shaman is not tuned to my dark homunculus because yeah I moved around some runes when I got some of my newer teams ready and yeah I have been using some some grinds on runes and I messed up the attack order so the ideal scenario will be for your shaman to move before your dark homunculus and after your defense breaker just like that guys so yeah. Even though my attack order is not perfectly tuned up, I will win this without any single problem. And the total time, the total clear time of this stage on the first try was about seven minutes. So that's fast enough for TOA Hell, in my opinion, guys. So for this first stage, you know, here we brought Tiana. We brought Tiana, and guys, if you don't have a Tiana, then uncheck the revenge box there and clear this on two stars and use any stripper to remove the wheel runes and you are good to go if you don't want to do that then you can go the tanking route however fighting the twins on your with your tanks well that will be really really hard the, the dark twins are really really nasty here so you know they will be stealing your buffs and you know that's really really hard to counter so guys if you don't want to spend a lot of time here with revivers and stuff like that well then go for two stars if you don't have tiana okay of course if you have diana you're one of the few lucky people that have her of course diana is an amazing unit here and she's even better than tiana actually not better but she's very good here <laughs> she's amazing she's second only to tiana against these stages so that's it guys you know the first wave was really easy the second wave is really easy as well you have dark units here and a dark boss so shaman will two shot almost any single unit that's defense broken with his second skill so this will be super, super simple and easy, guys. And yeah, we can control everything with Tyrone and we can control anything with the combination of Tyrone and the Dark Homunculus. And as I told you before, remember to use your, your, the third skill of your Belladion as an attack bar bush. But the main role of Belladion will be as a defense breaker here because we want to defense break as soon as we can in order to actually use the second skill of Shaman as soon 
as possible as well. So guys, we are almost at the boss stage. This was really fast, so we used the third skill. We tried to actually freeze everything and apply slow. And now guys, we are in a tough spot, but we have to use the third skill of the Dark Guild so we prevent the boss from actually sleeping my full team for two turns, which will be really, really bad. So yeah, that's an 85% chance of landing. So if you were to get unlucky and you know, you got 15% it, then you will actually pray for the boss not to use the third skill or you will lose. Actually, I don't think you will entirely lose, but things will be really, really hard because remember that those succubus will not wake you up when they attack you, so that's really, really bad. But, well guys, if you were not 15%ed, then this stage is super, super simple. Guys, if you enjoyed this, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and remember, if you have any questions about the game, let me know in the comment section, and I will be very happy to reply as always. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.